Imagine having the power of a magnet. You can force any object to attract or move at your command. In chess, you can use a tactic known as a decoy. A decoy is a move that forces a piece to a square it does not want to move to, resulting in a powerful attack such as winning a piece or checkmating your opponent. Let's take a look at some examples. In this position, white could play queen to h7 check, but then black's king on g8 escapes to the f8 square. If only black's king were on h8, then queen h7 would be checkmate. Can you see how white can attract the king to the h8 square? That's right, rook h8 check, attracting the king like a magnet to the h8 square. After king takes h8, white delivers checkmate with queen h7. Let's take a look at another position. In this position, white is down an entire rook, but the game isn't over yet. White's queen prevents black's king from moving to the seventh rank, so if white plays g5 check, black's king is forced to capture the pawn. Can you see what would happen then? If you found a forced checkmate, great job! After the decoy move g5 check, black is forced to play king takes g5, luring black's king into the open when white ends the game immediately with queen f4, checkmate. Let's take a look at one more example together. Not all decoy tactics result in checkmate. Sometimes you can win material. In this position, white plays bishop to b5, pinning the queen to the king. Black captures the bishop with queen takes b5, but enters a square where white's knight can fork the queen and king. Can you see it? That's right, knight c7, check, forking the queen and king, winning the queen for the decoy bishop. Let's practice finding decoys in the following examples.